Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to get the gesture key out of the image file. So just load the uh, JTAG image into a hex editor. And let's just do a simple search here. And we're going to look for gesture that key. Now there could be several instances of gesture key depending on how often the user changed their pattern. Uh, so if there are multiple instances and they're unique, you'll want to grab them all. Um, but for now, let's just search and see if we can find it. So you can see here we've hit a couple of instances. Scroll up to see the contents of the file. It looks like nothing there. Find the next one. Nothing in there. And what do we have? Looks like we found the contents here. So remember, uh, the gesture key is always going to be 20 bytes in length. So just select the actual file contents. You can tell we've got 20 bytes here. It's hex 14 down in the bottom. We used this tool last time. Um, we're just going to copy this out into a new session. So open up a new session, paste it in, and then we're going to save this as gesture.key. Now we've actually extracted the contents of gesture key and we've got a gesture key file that we can decode. Now keep in mind this is a YAFS2 device. So the contents of gesture key are located right next to the file name within the image file. If this were an EXT or FAT device, you'd have a hard time locating the contents because the name is located in the file allocation table. You can develop a script and some other tools to go in and actually carve out that information for you, but it's not going to be as easy as what we just demonstrated here. So again, YAFS2 makes this process a lot easier. So the next step is going to be decoding the pattern. So let's give that a shot. 